Hello, and today you join us sadly leaving the Langothan Canal with a little help from a friend. There's such a strong headwind, we're struggling to get the boat over. <laughs> but we have Pappy. <laughs> And as Henry disappears down a hole, we are hurrying off because the weather forecast for tomorrow is dreadful and we want to get down to Wixall Moss this afternoon to get a chance to go around it before the weather pulls in tomorrow. Wixall Moss is a peat bog laid down at the end of the Ice Age about 12,000 years ago and it's a really special and unique place because there's only about 3% of peat bogs left in the world due to extraction for gardens and various things. So I'm really interested to see what it's like. Well, we're here at Wixall Moss and we've got the most perfect mooring spot with our own tables and chairs. And it was very peaceful when we came here, but five minutes later, a lawnmower started from barking dogs, but obviously that will hopefully just be temporary. Wixall Moss is huge, so you can cycle, horse ride or walk around it. So we've decided to take the bikes and do a bit of walking and cycling so that we can see more of it. So, let's go. At all the entrances to the nature reserve is an explanatory board telling you about the birds, the bees, the adders, etc and a very useful guide with a map. Oh, that's in Welsh. I'll put that one back. <laughs> so we're going to visit the Marl allotment, which runs alongside the canal. And the word marl refers to the clay around here, which was used to line the canal and to fertilise the ground. And this is all common land, which is quite unusual because in the 1800s, most of the land in the country became private, but all around here survived as common land. And around the millennium, um, the parish council got stewardship of this area and cleared loads of rubbish out and they formed an environmental group and now it's looked after and you can see that all around because where we're moored it's all done by volunteers the grass is kept short and it's really managed well here it's um, a proper nice bit of land There's cranberries in here, adders, newts, they do a newt count every year, lots of butterflies and insects, lots of places to sit. It's really nice to come to an area like this because we don't have anything like this down in the south. As I said before, it's an extremely rare bit of land. The habitat is very mixed here. Sounds like a buzzard up ahead. And there's lots of these ponds, probably some of them were made at least because of the extraction of clay. It's very thick, you can't see any water. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, I don't think it's a buzzard. What's that bird up there, Rach? Above, it's a um, hunting bird of some sort, but it's smaller than the buzzard. It's more shapely than the buzzard. It hasn't got quite the square look of a buzzard. Is it a, ca a kite? Oh, okay. Well, there's so many paths, I don't know which way to go. Let's go down here. We had a friend over from Madrid yesterday who's finding it very exotic around here because it's so green. At the moment in Madrid, everything is brown. And he couldn't believe how many different greens we have here. Makes you appreciate it more when it's noticed by somebody like that. We had to very quickly abandon our bikes because um, the bridle paths were more suitable for, I don't know, a horse or a fat bike, I think, than our bikes. So we won't be able to cover quite so much area, but we'll probably see more, so nothing lost there. Nesting boxes everywhere. Some really big ones. One of which I think you can eat. With the others are um, called um, earth balls. I think. Yeah, that's an earth ball. Oof. They're called devil's tea bags in Ireland because yeah, in Ireland. when you tap them, no, it's too wet. Yeah. You get thousands of spores coming out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Found some more heather, so I thought I'd look and see if I could see any bilberries. Mm. But what I found instead are cranberries. Obviously, not edible like this. But really nice to see. I'm sure some animal will like them. Hopefully there'll be some bilberry somewhere. My favourite tree, the silver birch. It's elegant and it's shimmering. And in autumn, there's always good mushrooms to be found near them. Henry's found a brown birch boletus. And it's very early for one of these. Normally we'd be looking for these in September and they're a very nice mushroom to dry out for the winter. It looks quite fresh that H. It is, it's very good. I'll just uh, check it. You are advised on this walk to wear stout walking shoes. We've got our Keens on because it doesn't really matter if they get wet. And this is the path. Why, that's why you need good stout shoes. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wet feet. And then suddenly it all opens out. And you can see for miles right over to the Welsh mountains over there.
tell this is Pete as you're walking along because it goes boingy boingy boing like walking on marshmallows looks like they managed the levels of water with these big drainage pipes comes out on the other side so it spreads spreads the wet around After walking for a few hours, we've circled right round and come back to the canal. Although it's a lot further down from where we're moored, so we've got quite a walk back. But it's a nice evening. Back out on the path, we found a huge mushroom from the parasol family. It might be the prince. And there's another one down there, so we shall take those back for identification. But generally speaking, these are edible. And the canal is over there, so this path is well below the, the level of the canal. Right, we're just coming up to the Mammoth Tower, which we're going to have a quick look at. And I've just realised that my battery level is very low so I'll get what I can on oh, here we are plants that these little notices are based on, the sundew plant, is the one thing I haven't seen yet today and I'd love to see one but I'm obviously not looking in the right places. I've just spotted some on the ground right over there but obviously I can't be stepping in that. So Henry is going to try to get a picture and then we can enlarge it on his camera. Well that's it. We've been as far as we can go. And we've got quite a hike back to the boat, a few miles. So I shall say goodbye now because the camera's gonna run out in a minute. We're going to go back and prep our mushrooms up and have them with our cheese souffle tonight. So, have a good week everyone. 
and see you on the next video. Bye for now.